So we're going to try to redo the Cattleman's Crack video in a little easier to see format. Uh, first thing is wear something to protect your face, like a nice wide brim and glasses. Uh, bull whip is generally held with the uh, heel nut in the palm of your hand in such a way that it can swivel so you can hold it pretty loosely and it acts like another joint. So you've got your shoulder, elbow, wrist, and then this is another ball joint. Uh, that makes it a little easier to transfer the power. Not that you need the power. Right. So, next thing is, what you want to practice is just swing it in a circle, keeping it absolutely parallel to the side of your body. Here, or here, in this view. So just swing it backward. And when you can do that smoothly, it shouldn't take long, go the other way. So just practice that, just keeping it so that it stands up away from you. Nice and smooth, parallel to your body. One direction and the other. Then you just put those two together to get the cattleman's crack. Uh, you want to swing it so it stands up at about, uh, that's um, 2 o'clock for me, 10 o'clock for you. Swing it up and the other way. Now it's important that you just, when you're learning, just keep it going. Don't swing it up and try to make your crack. Swing it up, bring it back down and all the way around. Uh, and that keeps it from bouncing back at you. If you try to make it crack, it tends to come back towards your face. Uh, and also we'll be doing using that motion later. So swing it up, back down, and keep going. There's no pause at all at the point that you want it to crack. Uh, when you do want to control where it cracks, bring it up and point your wrist at it. So there, but don't stop there. That's uh, everything's going smooth, and then your wrist breaks, and just keep the whole whip going. So the only thing that directs exactly where it cracks is this. Everything else is continuous, smooth, up and around. Go a little lower, up. You see the wrist breaking there but it still goes around. A little higher, it still goes around. Okay. And that's Cattleman's Crack. It's important to keep it parallel to your body so you don't hit yourself. Um, my friend Roy explained that if you're actually working from horseback, you change that a little bit, crack it out to the side, because you want to keep it away from the horse. And that uh, brings it at an angle kind of like this. Uh, but still, just keep the same motion and keep it on a single plane. What we're doing is tilting that plane. So when you're learning, it's much better to start out parallel to your body. It's easier to control and tell when you've made a mistake. Uh, later on, you can change it.